In the following video, we're going to continue our examination of how to solve and graph inequalities. However, these two examples deal with translating a verbal expression into an algebraic inequality expression. So let's start with 3 fourths of a number decreased by 25 is at least 8. So I know from the first part, I am going to have 3 fourths of means multiply a number being our variable. So I have 3 fourths x decreased by means subtraction 25 is at least 8. And so I need to figure what inequality symbol goes there. If this expression is at least 8, it means it's equal to 8 or it's larger than 8. So that means my inequality symbol is greater than or equal to. So first, we're supposed to write the inequality. We've taken care of that. To solve then, I am going to add 25 to both sides to get 3 fourths x is greater than or equal to 25 and 8 is 33. And then I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply the left side and the right, by the right side by 4 thirds. That allows me to cancel out the 3 in the top, the 4 in the bottom. And so when I multiply 33 times 4 thirds, you can do 33 times 4 and then divide by 3, which gives me 44. So the solution set is represented by the inequality x is greater than or equal to 44. So on my number line, let me put 44 in the middle. I'll go ahead and do 48 here. That means our middle is 46. We're going to have 40 here. So 42 is in the middle. And then if I want, I can even put dashes in the middle to represent the ones. And so if I have x is greater than or equal to 44, that will be a solid circle on 44 with the arrow going to the right. And so for translating, the key is how do we translate the inequality symbol? So let's look at example six. Four less than a number is less than 12. Now, the reason I like to go over this example with students is because of the first few words, four less than a number. And so when students read this less than, they think inequality symbol. However, if you read the whole statement, four less than a number, that is not an inequality statement. That is an operation statement. So four less than a number means a number minus four is less than, that's easy to translate, is less than, means less than 12. And so I would just add four to both sides and get x is less than 16. And so I can put 16 in the middle. Here's 18, here's 20. 19 and 17, I can put 14, middle makes it 15, go down to 12, which is 13. And then when I graph this, less than 16 means open circle on 16 with an arrow going to the left. And so there is our solution set graphed on the number line. So when translating, if you notice you have multiple words like less than, and then you see less than again, both of those aren't inequality symbols. One of those is going to be an operation, and the other one will be the inequality symbol. And by looking at the keywords around it, you'll be able to distinguish between those.